A few weeks ago I did a video on how to make junction boxes and in that video I explained that any wire splices in your house have to occur inside a junction box and that junction box has to be in an accessible place and have a cover on it. Well today I'm going to show you how to make a splice not in a junction box and it's going to be located in an area that is covered and not accessible. A word of warning this device might be a little controversial. So I have this eyesore of a junction box I put in the ceiling because when installing a shower upstairs, I accidentally cut the cable that went from this light switch to that fan over there. I'd like to get rid of this junction box and patch this hole, but until recently, I didn't think there was a legal way to do it. Then, I saw these. Before I start doing the actual repair, I want to make a practice splice. I was surprised to find the connector was a self-tapping type that bites through the insulation to make the connection. I assumed they'd have a more robust connection. I'm using light pressure here so not to cut the insulation of the wires inside. I found it easier to get the wires in place without this metal bracket on the cable. The wires are simply placed in the channel labeled with their color, and then the cover, aided by pliers, presses them into the terminals which pierce the insulation and lock them in place.
The metal brackets hold the wire in place, like a GRIP-6 belt. A slot in each of the connector's clear covers locks over a tab on each connector's base. Seems fairly sturdy. Now, let's see if we can take it apart. Prying is not the way to do it. The screws lock down the covers, so they must come out first. The connection can't be pulled apart until both brackets are unscrewed. And the side tabs are pulled up. These 12 gauge wires do seat tightly in the terminals and require prying to get them out. You can see where they bite through the insulation. All right, enough practice. Now let's actually fix something. First and foremost, I use my tester to make sure the power is off.
These push connectors come off by twisting them back and forth about a dozen times. I cut the wires back to about an inch. And spread them apart a little. The connectors are surprisingly difficult to push together, so more room is needed. And that's it. I think I'll patch this hole in a future video. Before you go, I wanted to let you know we're starting a new project. We're turning half of this detached garage into a rentable apartment. Right now it just has electricity running to it, but when we're finished, it will have water and septic and be fully outfitted with a bathroom, kitchenette, and even laundry. We hope you'll come back to watch, or subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks again for watching.